Yeah, man! Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you vegetable oyster sauce. Alright, so you're gonna need some cauliflower, or we can use broccoli, and carrot, a mushroom, a stack of scallion, optional, it's about a small or two small onions or a medium sized onion, a piece of ginger. About half inch, three garlic cloves, um, sesame seed, cornstarch, spring beans or asparagus, oyster sauce, cooking wine, soy sauce. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. Alright, I'm gonna start first by toasting our sesame seeds. So put to eat a saucepan, put the stove gauge on low. Then add one tablespoon sesame seeds and allow it to toast. Allow toasting. After five minutes, it's finished. You just take it off and put it aside for later. So we're gonna start preparing our vegetables for cooking. First, the scallion, just remove the dying leaves, cut off root end and tips. Do as you see me doing. Garlic, remove the leaf from the garlic. Piece of ginger, say about quarter inch to about half inch piece of ginger. About the first bend of your finger, like the index, the first bend of your finger. So peel the garlic properly. The ginger, peel the ginger properly. Now the carrot, you just scrape it, or if you have a clean carrot, just wash it properly. The onion, just remove the brown leaf. The first layer of the onion is the strongest. Remember that. So you just want to remove the, the leaf. Once you do that, just rinse your vegetables properly under running water. I'm using spring beans, but you can use asparagus. Note people, you can use any vegetable in doing this meal. Just use what's available in your region. Alright, these are just the spring beans. I just cut off ends. This is dried chili pepper. You need about three dried chili pepper or shredded, a teaspoon of shredded chili pepper. You can do as I'm doing or you can buy shredded chili pepper. Alright, so with each chili pepper what I do is cut off ends and then cut strips. I'm going to sh shred it myself. So I'm using a food scissors to cut little strips and then hold them together and then shred. With seeds and all. I 
connects grind garlic to puree Let's use a grinder like this ginger as well grind ginger as well all right so that's what you want put these aside for later all right so this is my cauliflower remember now you can use broccoli you can use any vegetable that's available in your region. You can use um, eggplant, zucchini. There's so many. Just Google vegetable and you'll see a list of vegetables and you can choose any. Alright, so this is our cauliflower. So you just want to look on it, remove the leaves and once you remove the leaves the cauliflower has florets on the stem on the crown of cauliflower so just remove the florets just cut the florets with the stem do as you see me doing look in between the cauliflower for insect for insect or dirt so once you do that add some water a couple drops or sprinkle distilled white vinegar about a tablespoon rinse your cauliflower if you were doing broccoli, you would do the same. If you were using Brussels sprouts, you'd wash the sprouts the same. So look through, make sure that it's clean, there's any, any dirt or insect or any foreign object. Wash your carrot as well. The scallion, which is optional. Spring bean, all vegetables. Whatever vegetable you decide to cook with, just wash it properly. If it's zucchini, make sure you wash the skin properly. Alright, this the spring bean I cut it in about two to three inches length. And you'll do the same for the asparagus. After after the vegetables, you just rinse the vegetables on the running on the fresh running water. Give it a final rinse. And the scallion. Alright, once you do that, dice the scallion. Fine. Carrot. Cut carrot sticks. What I like to do is to cut the carrot in half, then cut that half piece in half, and then put the flat part on the chopping board so it's easier to handle, and then cut carrot sticks or carrot flakes. 
you can cut them as big as this or you can make them as fine as you can ever get it as for the onion chop the onion in quarters if it's a small onion you just chop it in half leaves separate the leaves like this So you just put your prepared vegetables aside for later. All right, this is our mushroom. You can use fresh mushroom. Just make sure you wash them properly, wash off the dirt, and then chop it. But today, I'm just going to use this mushroom from the can. So you use a can opener and open a can, remove that water. And if you can, just rinse it with fresh water. Right, so you just put your mushroom aside for later. Now, I'm going to make the sauce. Alright, so measure and add. Oh yes, before I forget. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe and there I'll have a list. So that's a teaspoon, one teaspoon cornstarch. There I'll have a list of the recipe. So one tablespoon soy sauce. Measure and add one tablespoon cooking oil this is my oyster sauce one tablespoon oyster sauce as I was saying you see on the on the website I'll have lists of the various cooking wine that you can use the various different oyster sauce that you can use they have some vegetable sauce they're not oyster sauce I can't remember the name right now but you have different ones there there I'll give you a list so although it's vegetable oyster sauce there are many other sauce that you can use and there's many other cooking wine cooking wine that tastes like gin that you can use all right so mix your sauce in properly put it aside for later all right now all your vegetables are cleaned and prepared chopped and trimmed all right now put a saucepan to eat sorry I don't have a wok however I'm gonna use this saucepan today as a wok so put to heat a saucepan the stove's gauge on four medium low allow after a minute or so add about two tablespoons of cooking wine sorry cooking oil I use coconut oil you can use olive oil or vegetable oil so just let it stay for a minute after a minute now they're about Add your chopped scallions and allow saute, sauteing. The stove's gauge is on four, medium low. About 10, 15, 20 seconds later, add your chopped garlic and ginger along with the chili pepper, the shredded chili pepper right after add your mushroom your chopped mushroom and saute 
Let's allow it to just kind of stir, saute somewhat. Do as you see me doing. The mushroom don't need much saute unless it's raw. I mean, you know, it's not in a can. I cook it some. So, but I'm just sauteing the seasonings. Alright, so once the seasonings are sauteed somewhat, you just stir it in, stir it in. Add your onions, chopped onions. It's a carrot. You don't need to cook the carrot now, the carrot can put in last. And then add all the other vegetables. Whatever vegetable you decide to use, add it now. Like I said, I'm sorry I don't have a walk. Add your sauce. The stove gauge is on four now, but you can turn it up somewhat because now it's stir frying. Turn it up to about medium. Six the highest. Alright, so do as you see me doing. Add the sauce and stir fry. Yeah, turn the stove up somewhat. Put it on six. That's like medium high. Alright, once you stir it in and all the vegetables coated with the sauce, turn the stove down. Add one third to between a quarter cup to one third water. Alright, turn the stove back down on four and just use the pans later and cover it, cover the pan and allow. After two minutes, you see if you keep the lid on, it's gonna build steam and kind of build the gravy. So after two minutes, add the carrot, stirring for give it a couple of stirs. Add the carrot and then stir in. Use the same pans lid and cover it. Cover it properly. And allow. Alright, so it's been four minutes. This is what it looks like. The pan's lid covered within a time. Alright, so this is what it looks like. The stir it in, stir it in, and make the gravy um juicy, creamy looking. You want the gravy to look creamy. Alright, so once you do that, it's finished. This is with vegetables, you don't want to cook the vegetables too much or too long. If any at all. Alright, so it says. It's as easy as that to finish. So you can serve your vegetable oyster sauce or whatever sauce you decide to use by itself. You can eat it alone or you can eat it with noodles. You can eat it with brown rice or you can eat it with bulgar. Bulgar is a wheat reject type of grain. It's wheat enough but it's like the reject part of the wheat somewhat. Alright, so this is vegetables, oyster sauce. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like, share. Cook this meal yourself and give us feedback. Vegetables, oyster sauce. Use whatever vegetables available in your region. Vegetables, oyster sauce. Alright, this is our toasted sesame seeds. Sprinkle toasted sesame seeds over your vegetable oyster sauce. Our vegetable oyster sauce look juicy and it is flavorful. See my thumbs up approval sign signal.
my thumbs up approval signaling. Carrot is crunchy and sweet. Mushroom is the flavor of mushrooms. Cauliflower is crunchy and fresh. Notice I didn't add any salt to this meal. Alright, so this is Bulgar. This is the Bulgar I was telling you about. It's a kind of a wheat reject. I think maybe in the days they used to use this to feed pigs, animals, cows, whatever. I think they used to serve it. Like in the days, you know, poverty was much more than, than it is now. So, this used to be a poor people meal, but it's hardy. Here in Jamaica, they used to serve Bulgar in school to us as children. I don't think they're doing it anymore now. So as you see, this is a very healthy meal. It's vegetables. If you want, you could sprinkle some nuts at the end. You can use sprinkle any kind of nuts. Walnuts, peanuts, on almonds. There are various. There's a lot of nuts. All right. Um, spring beans is, you know sweet asparagus I would have used asparagus instead of a spring bean but where I am asparagus is not available so readily and if it is it's extremely expensive and it's not as fresh so before I buy a chashi asparagus I prefer just to use what's available in my region. I'm actually enjoying this meal. It's just vegetables. If you're against oyster sauce, like I said before, you can use this vegetable sauce. There are vegetable sauce Asian stir-fry sauce that's available on the market. I'm not sure of the name right now But visit jamaicadinners.com and I'll have it listed in the recipe It's not spicy It's just right and it's flavorful This vegetable oyster sauce meal is flavorful. You can use broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, zucchini, Brussels sprouts. I think that's the name of the sprouts. even have some of the roots vegetable thing that always come in fry rice you could have put some of those in there the ginger and the garlic is fine just make sure you saute it properly before you stir fry it in
Bulgar. This is what Bulgar look like. If you want to see me prepare this Bulgar, visit JamaicaDinners.com and search for that recipe as well. So this is a clean, fresh, healthy meal. This is a Bulgar grain. It's wheat. It's just that from the wheat, it's the, it's the rejects, like the stem or whatever else. So you saw me eat this entire plate of vegetable oyster sauce meal. It was good. You see me going for seconds. That's how good it was. This would have been nice with some noodles, you know. Maybe they have some wheat. Healthy noodles. Alright, so this is just me having the seconds. Subscribe, like, share, and remember now, cook this meal yourself and give us feedback. Bye. Alright, this is my sesame seed. I just added to a stew. Yeah, man!